Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to another session of one question a day. The question that we are going to discuss today are the cemento dentinal junction CDJ and the cemento enamel junction. Cemento dentinal junction is formed between the cementum and dentin. Okay, happens in the root. And there is a distinct difference between the permanent teeth and the deciduous teeth. In the permanent teeth, it is straight and firm, whereas in deciduous teeth, it is slightly scalloped and firm. In both the instances, cemento-dentinal junction is a wide band that gives stiffness and helps in the redistribution of forces to the alveolar bone. It is made up of collagen fiber, water, and grown substance, all, uh, what is it? calcified matrix and there appears to be a thin layer of hyaline layer or intermediate cementum. These are structureless layer between cementum and dentin called hyaline layer or intermediate cementum layer and often seen to be in the epical two-thirds of molars and premolars. The exact origin and function is not still deciphered and the existence is always challenged. So, this is cemento dentinal junction. And cemento enamel junction is formed between the cementum and enamel. In 30% of the tooth, it ends in a sharp line. In 10% of the tooth, the enamel and cementum does not meet. In 60% of the tooth, the enamel and cementum. The cementum overlaps the enamel in 60% of the tooth and 10% of the tooth. Both the entities do not meet, exposing the radicular dentin or the root dentin to outside environment. In 30% of the tooth, they just meet perfectly at a knife joint. In this 10% of the tooth, what happens is the during the root formation, the first layer of dentin is formed and there is a delayed HERS exposure leaving bit a layer of dentin with no CEJ and that is covered by the reduced enamel epithelium when erupted. How cementum overlaps in enamel in 60 percentages, the HCR often degenerates a little bit earlier, exposing the underlying newly formed dentinal tissues to the surrounding dental sacs or the ectomies and chymal tissues. This facilitates the early formation of the first layer of cementum over the enamel. And that is the reason why 60% of the tooth have cementum overlapping enamel. This is a cellular enamel and a cellular enamel. The cell note the cementocytes, the process of which are directed towards these outside PDL, five spider-like projections. The cemento enamel junction shown by another candidate is the junction between the cementum and enamel forms. In the next of the tooth, CEJ is covered by gingiva not seen and may be the reason for sensitivity in most of the cases. In permanent tooth, 30% sharp junction, 10% there is a gap junction. There is a gap between the junction and 60% cementum overlaps the enamel. Okay, the reason why there is a gap because early absence of degeneration of REE after dentin formation exposing, causing a gap, whereas early rupture of REE prior to its time exposing the contact of enamel causing. Okay. Clinical significance. CEJ is covered by gingiva. If it is visible outside, then there is a recession of gingiva, maybe leading to sensitivity. With that, we come to the end on the discussion on cemento enamel junctions and cemento dentinal junctions. Stay connected with this channel for more questions. Until then, learn incrementally.